Hi everyone, I'm just another Tesla guy. Thanks for joining me for a Tesla FSD beta video. Here we have a clip of me driving back to Harrison in the rain. So let's see how FSD beta will react to this less than ideal weather condition. Some cars coming. More cars go. Mm. Alright, we should be good. Getting onto the highway here, slowing down. I need to make a left turn to go on the highway. And it almost missed it. Fit itself on the highway, which is good. And hopefully, the car can merge in time. Um, there's no car behind me, so normally I would have merged a little bit earlier here, but there's no car behind me, so that was okay. But it would have been better if the car merged a little bit earlier, and it is pouring here. So, we might see some post help driving being degraded, but real, real world conditions here. Starting from here, I'm going to voice over for a bit because the rain is really loud, which I will show a clip on it later on. But right now, the audio in the car is barely audible. So, up front, the truck is indicating that it's going to merge into my lane and to exit. So here FSD slows down to let it do so, which was handled extremely nicely. Now, as it starts to rain a bit harder and I can barely see outside, full self-driving is still able to handle and control the car like a champ here. All the cars around me are driving a bit more slower, more cautious, and rightfully so. Full self-driving will also be going 10 to 15 miles below the speed limit. Plus, the lane markers on the ground are not as visible, which makes it even hard for other drivers to see. So, from all the heavy rain outside, this is definitely the safer way to drive. It does start to get a bit foggy and blurry inside the car, which makes it harder for me to view out. So here, I am activating the defog function so that I can continue to monitor the car and see outside. This is important because you might have noticed that in the beginning, I mentioned full self-driving beta might be degraded. This is true because on the bottom of the display, there is a notification in red which says full self-driving may be degraded due to poor weather condition, which it is with all this rain, but full self-driving has been handling this drive smoothly without any hiccups. On the off chance there is something wrong, it is important for me to continue to monitor this car during this drive and be able to take control of the car, which is why you also notice that my hand is on the steering wheel. However, I am not steering or controlling the car. Full self-driving has been handling this whole drive, which is indicated by the blue line on the center of the display. Since engaging full self-driving in the beginning, I have not need to intervene or press on the accelerator at all. But speaking of intervene, I actually did have to intervene because normally when using full self-driving, for safety reasons, when the car is in the rightmost lane driving for a little bit, full self-driving will make a lane change and move over to the lane next to it. And it will show on a display that it's moving away from the rightmost lane. But because of poor weather condition and the degraded full self-driving notification, 
it has not done that. I know that because there have been times during this drive that the middle lane here has been free and full self-driving has not moved over. So to make a lane change while the car is in full self-driving, I need to push down on the left stock and the car will know to turn on its blinker and move over to the middle lane. Because there are a couple more entrances and exits from the rightmost lane, I want to move over and stay in the middle lane just to avoid any more slowdown when other cars are entering or exiting the highway. Here, you can see me initiating the lane change by pushing down on the stock. And I just want to give props to full self-driving here because now merging onto another lane feels really smooth. In past versions, when the car would merge, it might go slightly past where it wanted to go and have to correct itself. And now it no longer does that. Now, for the remainder of the highway portion and part of the streets, I am going to speed up the video as nothing happens and it's all boring stuff. And after that, the rain clears up and the notification of full self-driving being degraded is gone. But before the speed up, here's a short clip of the audio from the car and how loud it actually sounds like when the rain was coming down hard. So, incoming audio clip of the rain in 3, 2, 1. That was how loud it was in the car, so no audio from it. But anyway, I'm going to speed up the clip till something happens. get over to the right lane and now would be a good time to do so but the car is not doing that which it should have earlier now how would the car get in and it's don't stop here, we're in the middle of an intersection. Is this car going to let me in? I don't think so. Alright, I'm just going to take over. Alright. I think I was being honked at. So, yep, right at that moment when we were earlier, the car should have merged a little bit earlier. But it decided not to merge and we were left, we were put into that situation. So something FSD needs to work on earlier is, I guess, merging a little bit earlier rather than waiting to the last minute to merge. But I gotta say, the, on the highway, which is a strong suit, but with all that rain before it, it still handled it really smoothly and really nice. than that intersection where it should have merged a little bit earlier. I think this was a really good drive for SSD. 
I'm going to end the video here, but let me know what are your thoughts on FSD driving in the rain and it not merging earlier towards the end of the video down in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video.